I'm going to use this under the Fair Use Act now. I want you to listen to this whole message because Perry Stone, I've seen him do this yet again today. And all of these false prophets have done it. Timothy Dixon and Robin Bullock, they all talked about how there would be tsunamis. And they get this from Luke chapter 21, more specifically, verse 25. They all say that there's going to be actual tsunamis. So listen to what Perry Stone has done yet again today. Reports coming out of major uh, shakings taking place off of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, right above in the area of, off of Oregon, sometimes off the coast of Washington, and of course off the coast of California. In the book that will be coming out in February of this year, February of 2022, called The Visions, I go into minute detail, great detail, of tsunamis which are going to come to the United States. So be on the lookout based on what Jesus said. The sea and the waves would be roaring in the last days. And I believe when you study the particular Greek words used there for roaring, etc., that it refers to tsunamis taking place. There will be several tsunamis uh, in different parts of the world in 2022. Now, of course, that's a no-brainer because it's a prophetic word from the Lord from the book of Luke, but also because of the shakings that's taking place in the ocean. It is inevitable that somewhere, someplace, it's going to happen. And more. So, I want to point out before I go any further, Perry Stone cannot deny... Uh, his knowledge that I am a prophet because he had recently written a book titled Final Cypress. And that book was only plagiarized material from this channel. He plagiarized, uh, he wrote that book, that entire book was plagiarized material from this channel, my channel. That is a fact. So he is well aware that I am the prophet, the true prophet of the Lord. Indisputable. And this was addressed. This issue, his plagiarism of my material, was addressed to his ministry and what he had done. So that's been dealt with. Realize that. So he cannot dispute uh, the fact that he realizes that I am giving the true message from God because he stole it to write an entire book. So what I want you to understand, what he just talked about, is found in Luke chapter 21, verse 25. And what these ones have done is they've associated what it says in the Bible about like in the times of Noah would be again at the coming of the Son of Man. And then they take and read into Luke 25, uh, 21 verse 25 about how the seas and the waves would be roaring. And what I want to elaborate on is there is many things that are lost in translation over time. But this is again why the Bible teaches us. Remember the ancient things, Isaiah 46 verse 9 and 10. So, the original translation, it's been retranslated into roaring. But the original translation was echoing, where our word echo comes from, to echo something. But is now translated into roaring. Now, what I want to show you and remind you of what I've already taught which was how the waters are not literal waters. They're the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues. Now, he just gave uh, a prophetic message today about uh, how there would be tsunamis. And I've showed you Revelation chapter 17, verse 15, Jesus explained that the waters are not actual waters. They are the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues, which is uh, translated to 
the language. Now, this was Perry Stone's message, excuse me, yesterday. So I pulled just one example. I got one example, but you could hear these things echoed daily, daily. Listen to what uh, Fauci had to say on the same day. From what we really need to be doing, we, we have a pandemic that everyone knows right now is like a tsunami on us. We're going to have close to a... Like a tsunami. And when you hear one of them use one of these terms in a given day, they all echo. They parrot the same word. You hear them spinning the same narrative. They are echoing. So... One of them probably said in the morning news, said they talked about a tsunami, and they all decided to run with the word tsunami for the day. And you see this, and I've talked about this with the blue and the red waves, how they were talking about the blue and the red waves uh, well over a year ago. This is what the actual waters are, and I've shown this in previous videos, how they'll echo... <coughs> Parrot the same word in a given day. You'll hear him use the flood of immigration, a flood of violence, and in another day it will be a surge of immigration, a surge of violence, or a new wave of infection, a wave of immigration, the people's nations, multitudes, and tongues, the language is the waters not actual waters the bible makes this very clear and this is why god would have to send a true prophet to rightly divide the word because he knew they would be the the false prophets that would be spinning and echoing one narrative but they do would not have discernment because again all these false prophets are stealing prophecy from me. <clears throat> and that can be found. Jeremiah 23, verse 30, God is against the prophets that steal prophecies, steal the words of another. So this is what was meant. This is how it was supposed to be uh, rightly divided. It's not actual tsunamis. It's the tongues, the language, the words that are being echoed that's why the translation, the original translation was echo that was retranslated into roaring. And the, the, what's more important, how this relates specifically to scripture is the relationship it has to the beast from Revelation 13. Remember, the beast has seven heads and those heads have mouths. Their mouths are like lions. What does a lion's mouth do? It roars. That is the relationship to the seas and the waves would be roaring and see that the people's nations, multitudes, and their communication, their words, the language they are using is roaring. They're echoing the same narratives, the surge, the tsunamis, the floods, the new waves. It's all in the language, the waters. See how it relates to the beast. How their mouths are like lions roaring. This is what it was all meant to mean. But Jesus taught about this in the book of Matthew. He explained that there would be uh, many people would not be able to discern the time. And this is why he would have to send his true prophet to rightly divide the word because there would be a flood of false prophets like Timothy Dixon, Robin Bullock, Hank Kuderman, Kent Christmas, Perry Stone, who would not be able to rightly divide the word and would be stealing prophecy the words of another. God bless.